We're gonna be reacting to movies without CGI. It's wacky. We have behind the scenes footage of Squid Games, Ooh. Harry Potter, Ooh. Star Wars, and so many other films you've seen. Oh my God, it's John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do they just CG all that? Are you telling me they don't actually rent out a tunnel and film this? They just do it in a room like this? You thought they were punching on motorcycles, bro? I did actually. How do they make it look so realistic? Oh, oh Pirates the of the Caribbean, I know which scene this is. Oh, with the sharks. All right, well, we're moving on. Harry Potter. It's kind of dated. The CGI doesn't look as good. I mean, it still looks pretty good. <laughs> Wait, that's not a green screen. That's a blue screen. I want to do this. I want to start using CGI. Let's do it in our squid games. No spoilers. Wait, is that Walking Dead? Nah, it can't be, right? Yo, wait, how is he so fast? I wait, I think he was literally, I think he's not actually touching the ground, maybe? Yeah, look, it's pulling him <laughs> All right, this is Jurassic World. Hey, it's Mario. Oh, God, that's so cursed. Hey, You're telling me they didn't use real dinosaurs? Wait, you know what this means? You could technically have a job as a furry. Being a furry is not useless anymore. And in other scenes involving raptors, for example, they had actors. Play. Yep, I love this. Oh, I've seen this image God. on Twitter before. It's just a bunch of dudes with little dino heads. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Squid games. Mm. She's so terrifying to see up close. Wait a minute. You're telling me they didn't actually fall off a gigantic <laughs> platform? Wow. Wait, so all of that was blue screen? The yeah, background that, was blue screen? That's impressive. I didn't actually think they blue screened this part. Yeah, I thought that was real. Ooh, the Matrix behind the scenes. Oh, Neo, let's go. Look at those cameras. Wow. That's insane. The behind the scenes for this movie is so cool yeah, how they did it. This is the most impressive one so far. I didn't realize instead of putting the camera on like a gimbal, they just set up like 30 cameras. It's very it's interesting, actually. Impressive. I never saw this movie. It's a really good CGI tiger, apparently. However, for the close up shots there is a real tiger and he bit it they didn't use a tiger <laughs> wow <laughs> they put eyes on it <laughs> they didn't have the budget to make it look better all right so bad nollywood cgi apparently nollywood is nigeria hollywood oh my goodness <laughs> oh avatar <laughs> what am I looking at? Yo, he became Spider-Man. Ooh, I love Coraline. It's an incredible movie. Oh, wait, they filmed it like this? Mm -hmm. It's all claymation. You know, this movie, I tried watching it when I was younger, but it just scared me. Still watching it now, it's scary. It's like a child's horror, which, why does that exist? <laughs> <laughs> Children don't need horror. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was the same movie. I was like, that doesn't look like clay. No, that is clay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's, oh, I thought it was like, oh, she's actually bald. <laughs> she's bald. Hey, it's Ryan Reynolds. I don't understand. Wouldn't it just be easier to, to put the mask on his face? Yeah, it wouldn't it cost less? Why? Why didn't he put us in that video game movie, Free Guy? It would have been cool to be in Free Guy, but I understand. You don't like us. You're more of a Jacksepticeye kind of guy. But if you change your mind in the future, we're down to be in your movies. How do they make dragons look so real? They use an eagle and a bat for a reference for the wings. Oh, wow. That's crazy. They just put her on a rig and just shake her around. You know what? This makes me want to tell you guys about Dragon City. The sponsor of the video. Dragon City is a free-to-play game available on iOS and Android. Actually, I want to be iOS, you're Android. Aww. You can download it by clicking the link in the description. In Dragon City, you can collect over 1,000 different dragons and then produce food, gold, and all this stuff to fund your empire. I'm going to name my dragon Richard. And if you have multiple dragons, you can take them and make them have babies. Wait, where do babies come from? You have a kid. I just showed up to the <laughs> hospital, man. I don't know. <laughs> and then you can hatch the baby and train them to battle other dragons. We're supposed to train our babies to battle others? No, just dragons, not your child. Oh. And there are even PvP modes that let you fight against your friends, and for all you losers out there, random people. There are even new events each week with a special battle pass to unlock cool stuff. Imagine how powerful your dragon will be. Imagine dragging these nuts. I knew you were going to say that. And there's tons of mini games that let you collect food, gold, breed, get gems, breed, explore the city. You can breed. You you are so obsessed with these dragons breeding. And even better, the Mr. Beast dragon and the Beast Mode dragon are available again. They're only available for a limited time. Click the link and let's get back to reacting. Get breeding. Wait, what's this dog from? Whoa, hold up. I Am Legend dog wasn't a real dog? What? Oh my God, could you imagine filming a scene where you have to... I was gonna do that to you. That's so uncomfortable. That was Yo, tough. imagine though getting petted by Will Smith. I bet that feels great. Uh, you have some weird fetishes. That's not a fetish. Put I'm it not... in the video. Weird fetishes. They couldn't have just hired a real dog. No. Stop. Stop. Oh, Avengers. So guys, if you wanna know how to make a billion dollars, this is how. You just have to have a bunch of green screen. And very attractive people. 
and cars upside down. It kind of takes all the like coolness out of it when you see them like this. They don't look larger than life here. I wonder if they enjoy watching it back because like it looks so much different than when they acted in it. Ooh. Ooh. Don't copy my ooh. Get your own reaction. Oh. <laughs> that's cool. They had a movable building. I like it. I want to do stuff like this one day. This is cool. I won't pay for it or help, but I'm down to be there. They couldn't get a lion? They couldn't get people? <laughs> what? Oh, wait. No, no, no. They didn't CGI the lion. They CGI'd the people and then walked the lion. Wow. Which is easier, CGIing a lion or people? I guess people. Was this Avengers again? Dang. Oh. Oh, look, Life of Pi again. <laughs> they had to throw fish at him. What movie is this? Oh, it's Jumanji. No, it's about drive. It's about paddles. Isn't it funny seeing Rock being flung around because he's like five billion pounds and so massive? So it's like, it doesn't even look real. It looks like an asteroid just flying. Maybe Car Danvers is tougher than you think. Oh, I've seen this one yeah, before. Yeah, everyone's seen this one. <laughs> <laughs> Being an actor is pretty easy. <laughs> it clown makeup. Imagine every day having to get all this done before you film. Holding a water bottle covered in duct tape to simulate water coming from the tape. Wow. That's cool. Aren't they supposed to make like 12 of these? It's just crazy that it was the highest grossing film ever. And then there never was a sequel. It goes against all of Hollywood that well, just wants to squeeze IP dry. That's what Star Wars did. He wanted to wait till the technology was available to do the movie. What an idiot. Yeah, it didn't work out very well for him. Only became a billionaire. I wonder how long it took to render these movies probably years oh dark knight i love dark knight so this is when oh. they blew up the hospital so they actually blew up the hospital there's him getting in the bus look at it go i love it that's beautiful See, this makes me want to start filming movies that'd be so much fun wait unless youtube wants us to put movies on youtube i just want to blow up a hospital today i just bought this hospital bad helicopter cgi okay let's see this one <laughs> 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 the Ugandan Air Force. Nice. Mowing down. Yep. They're so safe with actors and everything. It's very, yeah. it's interesting to see. I remember in, in Squid Game, right? You know, the scene with the three of them, they had to get like juice or whatever instead of actual alcohol because like it's liability if they get drunk on set. There's so many things. It's Jimmy's just like, hey, I'm going to throw myself underground. I hope I'll be safe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is cool, man. I love this. Oh, Shang-Chi, right? I haven't seen it yet. I really do want to see that movie. I've heard it's good. It looks really good. The majority of the scenery is computer generated. You're telling me they didn't film this out in space? Some of the controls you think they're interacting with aren't even there. Why would they just not have something to reference? Our peanut brains can't comprehend. I guess they can't. The virtual production of The Mandalorian. Ooh, this is going to be cool. Yeah, so we're getting one of these screens. 100%. I want one. It's, we can spend really cool. 24 hours in the desert. And not have to leave our studio. Yeah, we can fake videos <laughs> yeah, I know. now. And they just moved it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I really, really want one. Needed. I want it so badly. It looked really good. The visuals are really good in this movie. Those things are cool. I'm buying one one day. If you own one, let me know. Thanks again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Use the link in the description to get the Beast Mode Dragon and the Mr. Beast Dragon right now. Bye. Explosion. We're going to be reacting to the fastest eaters on the planet. Wow, look at them go. I want to kick things off with this kid in a chicken leg. Wow. Oh, that was pretty fast. That was a fast eater. 10 out of 10. No way. Is he gonna eat a whole apple like a horse? <laughs> That's not healthy. Though. He looks like the kind of guy who could eat a whole apple. He looks like the guy from The Incredibles. Mr. Incredibles is good at eating apples whole. This guy's seeing how quick he can eat 100 Oreos. I would throw up. Notice how he's eating all the vanilla ones first. Vanilla's better. Agreed. Vanilla. I'm glad we didn't have to fight. I would have had to punch you. I'm Honestly, I don't care that he ate them all in under 15 minutes. I just care that he ate the vanilla first. Good job. Oh, you drink all his milk too. Good for bones. This is an official world record for eating a raw onion. Oh God. Oh man. He's eating no it way. like an apple. Oh, look at his face. What is he doing? What does that mean? Ah. When you're going for a world record, do you have to show the inside of your mouth? You're like, ah. Watching him tear up made me tear up. That was impressive. Now, Matt Stoney, come be in a main channel video. Here's our boy Matt back with another world record, eating six Whoppers. Those are humongous. Is the Whopper actually that big? No one knows because no one eats at Burger King. Yeah, everybody eats at Beast Burger. Hey, let's hey. go. I've never seen nobody that will do this. Fastest hot dog shoot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, what? It's the Glizzy Gobbler. 
<laughs> what? This has to be Florida. I've never seen this before. You've never seen this? I've never seen this. So it's Wednesday. You open up the pantry. You see a box of Pop-Tarts. Everybody's been there. It's the only thing to eat. Mom forgot the grocery shop. Let's see how fast you down it. He just looks so scared. He looks like someone's forcing him. It's the saturation. It makes it look like a hostage situation. Oh, that's a good technique. The old folder in half, shove it all down your gullet. I'll keep that in mind. If I ever wake up one morning and I'm like, man, I really want to gain a few pounds of pure fat. I'll use that to make sure I achieve it. This is a professional eater versus a regular eater. All right, so he gave him a little bit of a head start. In case you can't tell, the professional eater's on the left, regular eater's on the right. He just inhaled it. That was epic, but I prefer four regular eaters versus Joey Chestnut. We'll react to that later, though. All right. No. Oh, I thought he was about to just shove it in there. He's using his hands. That chick in the background thought he was just about to go. Huh? She can look at her. She's like, okay, you can leave now. <laughs> Don't do this in front of me. I have to work here. Yeah. Why does he eat it like that? Oh, that was, that was tasty. That was good. That was good. That was tasty. Eating a dozen donuts in 45 seconds. First off, this is insane. Second, we've had a lot of Furious Pete clips. Furious, if you're ever in town, let's go to dinner. Hey, you want to eat with us? Just slowly please yeah. no no actually it'd be fun because we'd sit down he'd be done and oh, then yeah. we're done hey bob go bob he's eating pretzels <laughs> i don't know who this guy is i don't know what record he's attempting but i'm cheering for you bob 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 eating so many pretzels yo bob got his name on his cups i don't even got my name on my cups that took bob nine minutes and 30 seconds good job bob yeah is this matt just the matt stoney appreciation video <laughs> matt stoney's gonna be like yo man i want some of that ad revenue on that video yeah <laughs> come on guys that's insane he ate that in under a minute this this clip just reminded me that you should subscribe if you haven't already. Do it. We're a little over 1 million subscribers away from another diamond play button. Do it. Help the boys out. Do it. Oh, I've seen this. He just goes. All right. So here's my question. Are we counting this as eating? He's really just kind of breaking. Chris. What? It's funny. Oh. Don't ask questions when it's funny. Oh, Joe Chestnut. Do you think he'll be able to eat this pizza that's smaller than the pizza that he ate with it, us? It's kind of sad watching this after seeing him eat the world's largest slice of pizza. Oh, God. It's so covered in green. Ew, they're slopping stuff. I hate watching people eat. It's just so gross to me. It's fascinating to me. Oh, yo, dude in the blue, Joey beat you. He did. You don't beat Joey Chestnut when it comes to eating. We tried. Oh, spaghetti. Fun fact. I hate spaghetti. To show how much I disagree, I'm not talking the rest of this clip. You know what? I'm sick of you. You're just gonna walk in here and act like that in front of me. I express my opinion, completely valid, about spaghetti. You're just not even gonna say anything. And there's a victory royale on the screen and you don't even wanna react to that. Fortnite in 2021, you don't wanna say anything? Wow, you've changed, Jimmy. You've really changed. You're not the same person I once knew. Hey, look at this. You're about to drink milkshakes. How, how do they somehow make milkshakes not appetizing? Like, this is probably the first ever milkshake in the world where I've been like, I actually wouldn't care if I didn't It's because they put it in a bucket. Who wants to drink anything out of a bucket with a hose? <laughs> They're drinking with hoses. Or a ladle. Oh, you can use a ladle. I don't know what that is. A ladle is like a giant sp I also don't care. Hey, look, it's oh. Badlands Chugs. You ready for this? Jimmy, no, he's drinking the entire ocean. No, man, Oh my stop, God, stop. And National Geographic is covering no. the footage. Dude, you're gonna destroy Earth. All right, now everyone thinks our audience is five-year-olds. We need to talk about grown-up manly things now. All right, shaving. Um, taxes. I paid taxes. I also paid taxes. I didn't. I keep not paying it. I need a new co-host in a month. <laughs> so he's eating a giant cookie. I guess those are candy bars on top, but they just look like poop. Oh, he's like scooping it. This looks like one of those things that sounds good on paper, but you like regret instantly. I mean, I wouldn't mind eating a cookie. He looks like he's kind of suffering a little bit. 17 minutes. Wait a minute, there's still cookie on that platter. Hey man, finish your plate. Well, let's let it slide this time. 350 packs of Pops Rocks. Pops Rocks, playback. Pops Rocks? Caught him in 4K. I'm going, I'm leaving. It's fine, I got it. I'll react to the Pops Rocks. Who would have guessed? Matt Stoney's punishing himself again. This looks like it oh, would actually wait, wait, wait. hurt. Wait. Oh my gosh. Shut up, I'm listening to Rock's Pop. I thought, I thought it was a great idea, but um, I didn't anticipate it tasting so bad. It tasted bad? Who would have thought? 72 ounce of steak in under three minutes. Why does this look like security cam footage? <laughs> the quality is so low res and so saturated. And the fact that she's eating a plate of meat with her hands, she's like, Rah! Yo, that's a big cow's own. Yo, nice shirt though. I was about to say he had to flex the Supreme shirt. People who flex their nice shirts are dumb. Agreed. People. 
This is just gross. I could never eat that much. It looks good. Like that's good if you ate like a few bites, but. Okay, this is too bros though. Do you think me and you could like. I would just like to hang out with you once. I'm kind of gonna put Chris on blast. All I've right. been trying to watch anime with this man. I wanted to play Yu-Gi-Oh with him. Every time I want to hang out with Chris, he's always busy. Flame him in the comments. I have a child. I want bro time. Yeah, Dan is a suspiciously good swallower. That's what she said. <laughs> Did he just said he's a suspiciously good swallower? Is that what they say in professional eating? Yeah, I mean, he is good at swallowing. That's like, take pro. That's ah! a lot of that's a lot of food going down his throat. You have to be good at swallowing. All right, $100 KFC menu challenge. Wow, 12,000 calories? Yo, I miss eating KFC. I haven't ate there in like a long time. You know what? That's what we can do as boys. Let's go to KFC. I'm on keto, dog. Oh. I, I gotta geez. keep the carbs low. This video's video hard for me. I gotta keep my carbs low. I gotta keep my carbs low. I have stable energy. Wait a minute. I just realized we're this deep in the video and there's been no epic meal time. Pop up a clip of epic meal time. 15 Big Macs, please. Fifteen Big Macs, please. All right, much better. Let's okay. continue. Is it this epic meal time? Is it? <laughs> this oh. is like, I was like, where are you yeah, going? They, no, they put perfect. Leave this in. There we go. I got my epic meal okay. time. Oh no! What? I hate that cheese. It is not real cheese. It's not good. It's this guy again. Who's this guy? I don't know this guy. Is this Matt Chestnut? I think this is Joey Stony. There's just no way he's gonna eat that many Big Macs. You can tell I'm slowing down a little bit. Oh he's really? Sweating. I couldn't tell you were slowing down. He your looks back. like he just got out of a shower. There's no way. He Human should he, eat that many big bags. He did the same thing when he uh, was in the challenge with us. Yeah. Oh, he saved the lettuce for last. Is it because he doesn't like lettuce or is it strategic? Strategic. Okay. Everything's strategic with Joey salad. I mean, <laughs> and he just ate, did you just say Joey salads? <laughs> yeah, all right. That's a great place to end. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. These are the most dangerous jobs in the world. Scary. Oh my gosh. Number 20 is being a courier. I can understand why that's dangerous. Whoa. Who said she had to, oh my gosh. Yeah, she's right. making this the most dangerous I, job. I feel the like world. this, I feel like they have like biking lanes and stuff like that. Like no one's forcing her to drive on the road. And then the person's like, oh. My spaghetti's cold, oh my god. She's like dodging traffic. <laughs> Weaving in and out, okay. And at number 19 is a lumberjack. Okay, I can understand lumberjack. <laughs> this, uh, if anything, I'm surprised this isn't higher on the list. Well, he's higher, but not on the list. Yeah, yeah, Because he's in a tree. Oh my god, oh my god. Ooh, look at that Douglas fur go. The only thing holding him up there is that rope. The robots are taking our jobs, dang it. No, oh, it strips the tree. Yo, whoever made that's a genius. I know. That just did the work of like 40 people with like three buttons. That was insane. Robots are coming. And number 18 is fighter jet pilots. Yep, I agree. Why is this one dangerous? I don't get it. Oh, you don't understand why this is dangerous? Yeah, this is just Microsoft Flight Simulator, right? Uh, who's gonna tell him? Wait, what? Yo, they're like touching tips right now. That's insane. Wee! Oh my gosh. I could never land a plane. Dude, it, it looked like he was about to fly right off. Those things have incredible brakes. At number 17 is search and rescue personas. Personnel. I can't speak. You can't. Put that in, it's funny. So I assume this is like a pickup of some people on some mountains. What uh -huh. gave that away? Was it the mountain or the pickup? I am tired of your crap. <laughs> you know what? I'm tired. Helicopters in and of themselves are terrifying. Now imagine landing with one wheel on the side of like a thousand foot mountain. Why is it so close to the ground? <laughs> because he's rescuing somebody who needs help by the water, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, I saw this on the news when it happened. He's rescuing somebody that like apparently their car got flooded. I don't know if I'd want to be rescued like this if I'm being honest. Did you see the one where they were rescuing the old lady and then they had her in that bed and then just yeah, started it just But no, like, seriously, I'm terrified of helicopters. If someone tried to save me with the helicopter like this, I'd be like, nah, man, I just, just leave me to drown. Like planes make sense, but helicopters are just wizardry. And number 16 is mining. Wait, Minecraft mining? You can yes. get arthritis. Yes, our gaming channel is the 16th most dangerous job in the world. Yo, I get why it's dangerous because you can just die at any point. The earth could just be like, nah, I don't want you. They have to mine in crevices like that? Yeah, dude. Look at that, I would die. Yeah, like movies and stuff always depict mining as like these huge open caves, but. They oh. not. At number 15 is bodyguards. That is a dangerous job. 
Whoa, that guy's the worst assassin in the world. He was like, all right, I give, I give, I give. Hey, look, it's Jake Paul and the classic gotcha hat meme. If we're trying to represent how being a bodyguard's dangerous, I don't know if a clip from a Jake Paul press conference gets that point across. That doesn't look very dangerous to me. Up next is boxing. I agree. All right, who's winning? Call it now, blue shorts. I'm gonna pick the other shorts. Might've been a bad pick. He's kind of wobbly, dude. <laughs> Oh snap. <laughs> he was like, I don't wanna do this no more. I don't know what could be more dangerous than boxing, honestly. How is there 12 jobs more dangerous than just getting punched in the head repeatedly? Because when you're getting punched in the head and it's your job, you know it's coming. Still, statistically, you get way more hurt getting punched in the head. Statistic schmatistic. This list doesn't make sense. But when you're just a commercial driver, <laughs> dumb people can come at you at any angle. Oh, diver. I thought it said driver. Wait, let's go back. It, oh, it does not. It definitely say diver. This is diver. I'm like, how is driving for Uber Eats more dangerous than getting punched in the head? Look, we can't read. It's fine. Commercial diver in at number 12. Ooh, the poop diver. Is that sludge? I don't know what that is. I don't either. Oh yeah, underwater welding is actually extremely dangerous. Something about using fire underwater is dangerous apparently. Oh, and then sharks. You have yeah. to deal with sharks just checking Imagine out. Imagine doing. doing your normal job in the office, but then a shark at any point could just show up. That'd be like if you just worked a normal job at Staples and every now and again a lion just walked in and you had to deal with it. Coming out at number 11 is a truck driver. You can't convince me that being a truck driver is more dangerous than being a boxer. Apparently if there's other stupid truck drivers. Oh my gosh. Jesus he was quite angry about yeah. that. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of blurring there. The 10th most dangerous job in the world is being a skyscraper worker. What? I don't get it. What's so dangerous about walking 300 feet up in the air on a small pipe? Yeah, honestly, this doesn't I mean, look dangerous at all. This is so safe. Oh, well, that one's wiggling while he's walking on it. Completely safe. That's how you know they're secure. Is he's when not they strapped wiggle. into anything. He really wasn't. He was carrying the scrap. There's no amount of money in the world that would ever make me do that job. $38. I'll reconsider. And coming in at number nine, bull riders. All the other jobs have been like beneficial to society, but dangerous. But this one's just dangerous because <laughs> oh my oh, god, he got flung like a rag doll. Oh my gosh. Many questions are flowing through my head. A, why is this a job? B, why is this a job? C, does he have medical insurance? Coming in at number eight is astronauts. That should be number one. Putting, hurling people thousands of feet, up, if not miles in the air. Are they going to space? Wait, is that how they go to space? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is that, is that what it looks <laughs> like while they're- Oh, sorry, I'm allergic to space. I was having a moment. No, I'm sorry, I didn't know space was in this. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Look at that, it's just a dark void of nothingness when you look to the right of the planet. Are we gonna go to space, by the way? Working on it. All right, deep sea fishers. This isn't your normal sea fishing, this is deep. Yo, people die all the time doing this, and then they just swap in new people. Holy crap. I'm glad I have a captain that when a big wave comes, instead of being like, all right, I'm gonna navigate it, he just goes, ah! get down! Can we all just agree crabs aren't worth these people dying over? I'm willing to stop eating crabs if it means they don't have to do this. I'm willing to stop eating crabs, which I never eat. Oh my God. Oh my God, that fish was like, oh, you guys want to catch me? Call you lacking. Yo, he threw a ladder at that guy and hit him in the face. Wait, wait, wait let me see. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, who threw that? No, the fish threw it. Oh he my. said, oh, you going to catch me? Bunk. All right. Power alignment. This is actually a very dangerous job. My uncle does this. Why haven't you retired your uncle? He's not actually my uncle. We call him uncle. <laughs> okay. His name's Randall. He's backtracking. We used to hang out with his kids, so we called him Uncle Randall. But I know somebody who does this. Thank you, okay. Yo, that's called a hot stick. Ooh. That's why it's called a hot stick. Why, so it tests if it's electric? Yeah, so see. Oh my gosh. See, if that hot stick wasn't there, that arc would have caught him instead. Coming in at number four is demolition. I don't understand why this is so high up on the list because it's not like you got to be inside the building when yeah. you pull it up. I mean, is it dangerous? Not, well, okay, I guess. This is not demolition. This is just being a YouTuber. That is pretty dangerous. Coming in at number three is a firefighter. A firefighter is always going into fire, which is dangerous, always. Oh, wow. Is that just part of your normal job, you just being on fire? You're like, hey, bro, spray me down. I'm on fire again. <laughs> they were way too nonchalant about him being on fire. I would put it higher than, than the next one, to be honest. Storm chasers? Why do people chase storms? For weather and for excitement. I mean, you'll understand this once you're a dad, Jimmy. When you become a dad, there's something about wanting to go outside and observe weather. You just sit on the porch and you're like, mm, 
storm coming. Oh my gosh. I've Whoa! Seen... Oh snap. Does he get back in the car? I hope so. And number one on the list is Geochemist. What? Oh yeah, this looks dangerous already. Yeah, that's pretty dangerous. I mean, I understand why it's dangerous, but I don't feel like a lot of like accidents happen with, well, I mean. There's probably a reason they put a number one on the list. Is he running away from lava right now? <laughs> yeah, it's lava. Of course he's running away. And those are the 20 most dangerous jobs in the world. If you don't hit subscribe right now, I will literally punch you in the face. Goodbye. Bye. I have a list of the 25 most viewed TikToks ever. That's millions of views. Billions, actually. Wow. And coming in at the 25th place with 213 million views is this. He's getting a lion hug. Oh my God. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Me and my dog do that, but I wouldn't be scared my dog would maul me. That was the 25th most viewed TikTok in the world. And we're already in the two hundos. Now, coming in at 24th is this. So far, I cannot tell why this is. Wait, Wait. what? Our boy Cabby. Okay, I was about to say, why is that the most viewed? And then yeah, now it makes yeah, sense. Now. He, okay. It's funny, that took him probably like 10 seconds to film. 24th most viewed TikTok in the world. That's insane. That just shows the power of him and why he's gonna be the number one most followed. Coming in at 23 with 230 million views. Oh wait, it's this drone guy? I've seen this. He got 231 from this? Wow. This makes me wanna do this. We should do it. Yo, drone guy, fly down. Is that the guy that got beat by Jarvis and Boxy? I don't know. <laughs> you were there, we watched it. Yeah, <laughs> he gave them a heart attack. This is the 21 most viewed TikTok in the world. We got a banana. I can see the Cabby Lane watermark. You already know they're getting hit with the... They're getting... Oh, yo, he's got the Naruto shirt. Okay, now I love you even more. Wait, what's he gonna do next? Oh, peel even more. And then, oh. That's how you get it out. Gotcha. Okay. That's how you remove a banana. Folks, this is why he deserves to be the number one most followed person on TikTok. Everybody would be chopping bananas without this guy. Without his deeply educational videos, we'd be opening bananas with knives. The world would be a worse place. All right, so this has a quarter of a billion views. Oh, I've seen this. This guy's pretty cool. You hungry, bro? Yes. He's kind of like Mr. Beast if Mr. Beast owned a gas station. Assuming these aren't staged, this is really great. Here you go, bro. Enjoy, right? Wow. Love that. In 19th place with like 2 million extra views. I haven't seen this one. Someone surfing? Whoa. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's really cool. This only has another million views more. 900K after 23 hours of work. Ready with new drawing. Please watch to the end. This is why I got so many views. I'm surprised. This is actually a longer TikTok. For this to get 250 million views. It's because watch time. TikTok's all about stretching out that watch time, bro. I mean, the drawings were good, but I'm kind of surprised that was the 18th most viewed TikTok on the platform. But I digress. On to number 17. Oh, is this that David Dobrik thing? Yeah, where he fills his backyard with foam. Did David post this or did the foam guy post it? I think David posted this on his TikTok. Dang. And at number 16 with 267 million views, a lot are hovering around this. Hey, it's that Fortnite guy. I thought it was that, that guy from the zombie movie. It's the guy from that Fresh show. With that prince in, in Bel Air. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's that guy that works with the secret service to oh, find the aliens. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that was the... Ah. ah. Oh, it's the guy from YouTube Rewind. Yeah. Gotcha, now I know who it is. Yeah. The bit is we don't know who Will Smith is. It's funny, just laugh. Boss, here's a list of our most recent subscribers. I'm gonna pick this. G Maniva one. I don't know, but congratulations! You just won a thousand dollars. And if you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, because next time I film a video, I'm gonna give another thousand dollars to someone who recently subscribes. Hit it. I saw this. I saw this when this had like 7,000 likes and I knew this was gonna go viral. Wow. It's a lot of uh, mega viral TikToks where they like show a video and then do it. It's very meta. All the meta stuff goes viral. I need to do one of those. You need to be meta. You already see the water mark. Is he about to hit her with it? All right, how else would we use toilet paper that? I don't understand. Oh. Oh. Wait, you just remove it from oh the side? Oh my gosh. That's how you use toilet paper? Think of everybody's butts. They'll be so clean now. He's saving lives. Oh, I love this. I've seen this. <laughs> I love cats. Look at him. He's like, give me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want to do this with my dog. Grab a roll of toilet paper and put like a treat inside of it. Yeah, and then Yo, someone remind me to do that. Oh, I've seen this. This is one of Cabby's most few videos.
Thank you. Good job. Thank you for teaching us how to open a door. What's that? You did it. All right, now we're in the 300 million views. All right, number 10. All right. I, don't, um, I wonder why this is number number 10. Yo, the ceiling's looking pretty good here. Yeah, it's good. The nice ceiling. I really, I'm a very big fan of our ceiling. I'm yeah. glad we soundproofed the ceiling. Uh, oh, 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 all right, anyways, now that we're done talking about the ceiling, on to number nine. Oh! oh! You almost hit that thing. Now you have a mirror so you can see. Now you're good. Okay. Wait, Wait. let's see his genius solution. What's he doing? Oh. oh my God. And he also has Sasuke on his shirt. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So, yo. Oh, and his shorts. I didn't realize he was a big Naruto fan. That explains why he's number one. Yeah, exactly. Hey, it's Billy Eyelash. Re-upload on Coochie Destroyer 5. No, it's not a re-upload. That's her name on TikTok. Is it really? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Is I love Philly Eilish so much. She's so funny. You're trolling me. No, it really is. I never noticed and I've seen her TikToks before. Let me double check. Hold on. It used to be back in the day. Okay, no, I guess it's not. I thought it was. Somebody fact check us. In seventh place with 380 million views. Aw, uh, look at the cute baby. You could have got 380 million views if you did this with Tucker. I got 23 million with Tucker. Not enough. Of course. Into the beat, into the beat, into the beat, into the beat, boom. I will never understand how this got 400 million views, but can't argue with it. Oh my God, we just made a jump for 400 million views to 659 million views. That's a lot of views. Surely this next TikTok has to be very high quality. My name's not Shirley. Oh, it actually is. Anything Zach King does is phenomenal. Yeah. I remember seeing this one when he uploaded it. Yeah, just send me that email. I'm just gonna step in. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Sorry, it says wet paint. And then it's the endless loop. How does he do that? How'd he do that? Yeah, and then it, it just keeps looping. Yeah, just send me that email. I'm just gonna step in. Oh, sorry, sir. It's drying. You should put a sign up or something. I'm sorry. It says wet paint. That's so weird. I don't know it, what I just watched, but it's phenomenal. It hurts my brain. All right, so now we just jumped from 659 million views to just shy of a billion views. What? Nothing gets a billion views unless it's high quality content. Gondam style, baby by Justin Bieber. Just perfection. There has to be nothing wrong with this coming up TikTok. Some see this oh, it's Zach King again. <laughs> Some see it as half empty. I, I see, see it, it as. As a piece of cake. I remember that. Wow. That was during the big everything is cake phase. You know, honestly, I thought we'd get deep in the list. I'd be like, why is this getting a billion views? Da, da, da. But like, if anyone deserved it, it is Zach. I'm glad he's at the top. From the top. Make, make it drop. drop. That's our seal. Yeah, it gets sealed. All right, number three with 1.1 billion views. The third most viewed TikTok. Yo, Zach King's just dominating the top Oh charts. my goodness. You could say he's the king of TikTok. King of billion view talks. Yeah, that's true. This is so, it hurts my brain. How many shots that must have taken? I don't know how he does it, but it's phenomenal. So now coming at number two of 1.7 billion views. It better not be Zach again. Oh wait, is it? Oh, it's James Charles. I saw this. Nice. This got 1.7 billion views. Wow. Yeah. Okay, was not expecting that to get that many views, but All okay. Right. And now, the number one most viewed TikTok in the world, 2.2 billion views. This better be a banger. Ah. Oh. I remember seeing this. This is good. You like my costume? Yo, that's so cool. How are you doing that? I got a Nimbus 2000. Oh, I see. Oh, that's my God. wild. Longboard? Oh. Longboard, I'm Leviosa. <laughs> and those are the 25 most viewed TikToks on earth. Subscribe, goodbye. Bye. This is a $10 million house, $100 million house. This is a $500 million house. Houses are insane. And in this video, we're gonna react to every single one of them, starting with this $100,000 house. So for a $100,000 house, not bad. I bet people in California are like, what? Why is it not a shed? For a hundred grand, not too shabby. This hey. is something your family could own. And this is a $250,000 house. Wow, that's pretty nice. It's got some really nice interior. It's nothing too crazy though. Yeah, I mean, this is a, a typical American home. Hello there. Oh, you can see her in the reflection. You got got, lady. You got caught, exposed. 4K. And this is a $1 million house. You
Oh my, I paused it at the perfect time. This is beautiful. Could you imagine sitting by the poolside? Could you imagine how big that space is? I, I don't even have enough friends to fill this. Nah, that's a turn off for me. I don't like sleeping on the first floor, especially with glass windows. Someone could just go pop and they're right there. You're a nervous guy, man. Just get two really big dogs like I have. People don't mess with you. And so they pop the window, take two steps, and the dogs are gonna stop them before they can take two steps. Dude, before they're even in the yard, my dogs have already woken me up. This next house costs three million dollars. The architect is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that kind of looks like a Poké Center. Yeah, it does. Imagine you're playing Pokemon Go and you walk in there to heal a Pokemon. He's like, why are you in my house? And then he also comments on the video saying, that really wasn't that funny. He's got a bridge over his pool. He has his own tennis court. Does it make me want to give away less money so I can buy a mansion? No, keep being philanthropic. That looks like the Clout House. No, this looks like the Clout House if everybody in there was like 40 years old. <laughs> yeah, true. I like that telescope oh, yeah, that's just inside. Yep. They're all just pointed at the ceiling. Whoa. I love that. I love this wow. house. And if you thought that was cool prepare yourself for this five million dollar mansion it's on the water jimmy this is a water mansion i love water it, it looks like a bus that's so cool guys is it water mansion water boat or houseboat or is it house yacht mansion house on a boat imagine having to get up in the middle of the night to go steer your house now we're making a huge jump this next house is from new york and it's worth 10 million dollars it's robert down it's iron man iron man's house better be dope it's a got a windmill that's so cool robert downey jr just ooze is cool. That is Montgomery. Oh. Uh, is Montgomery why the house costs 10 million? Yeah. That cat gets to crawl around in a $10 million house. Now, you're probably thinking, it can't get much better than Iron Man's house. Yeah, Iron Man's the coolest person ever. But it does. This what? next place is worth $16 million. What? This is the small door to the house. The small door. There's benches here for when you get tired of walking to the Skittles machine. <laughs> Uh, come on. This dude's just flexing on us. That's so cool. We're doing something wrong. Why do we give away so much money? <laughs> Jimmy's having a realization moment. I could have a $16 million mansion. That's an insane view. That oh is just God. beautiful. $20 million Texas house. Whoa. Let's what go. Way? What? what? Come on. You got your own water in, that, in the backyard? Just come on, That's man. That's not even one water slide. That's three water slides. Can slide. I be your son? What's in the backyard will simply blow your mind. You're correct. I've already been my a zip line. It's got a zip line. What does it not have? A lazy river. What? Oh, and interactive oh animatronics. We should seize this house. I'm thinking if we all get together, we got about how many subscribers do we have? On the main channel, we got about 60 million subscribers. I'm thinking if we all band together, we just take this. Nobody's stopping us. Or what if all 60 million of our subscribers each gave us 30 cents? Yeah. That would give us $20 million, which we can then purchase this home. And then we'll let you guys. No, no, we'll, we'll use it. Let's screw them. Oh. <laughs> One of a kind recreational wonderland. How many people will like work out? What? Are we sure we're not on a new house? Is this all still just the same house? Yo, his son, just the coolest kid in this school, isn't he? Is there ever a reason to leave your home if you own this? I would never leave. This home simply has it all. It has it all, Jim. Okay, that was just a $20 million mansion. There's a $500 million one later in this video. What the heck? But they said that has it all. I am so excited to see the final mansion. I guess we'll have to watch to see it. This is a $32 million house in Hollywood. Let's look at it. This is, oh! Wait, 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 go back to that view. What the? Come on. Now. That's insane. Look at that. You can look at everybody below you. That That's bringing tears to my eyes. wonder how much it would cost to rent this. Probably like 100 grand a day. That movie theater is nice. phenomenal. I mean, so far, nothing crazy, though. I mean, it's cool. Way better than my house. A very, very nice house. If I had to pick between Water Slide House and this house, I'd pick Water Slide House. Come on. Somebody beat the $20 million mansion. This is a $40 million New York I mansion. need something better than a Water Slide. Seeing how this is New York, it's obviously it's not going to be a mansion. It's not. It's going to be like, ooh, I... I have a big apartment. firm. Could you imagine yeah. paying $40 million for an apartment? You could have bought the $20 million water slide house instead of just buying this. If I had $40 million, I would just buy a massive amount of land and just have so many animals. And then I would just hire people to help me take care of all the animals. That's a good shot. I mean, it's, for New York, it's really, really beautiful, really cool. Oh. No water slide. No water slide. All right, $60 million mansion in Miami. 60 million is a ton of money, man. This looks like something out of a video game. I'm going on a quest here to find some boss. I looks like a very official working place. Ooh, yeah. 
<laughs> what the freak is that? That's a sink. I've never seen a sink like that. I hope it's just not constantly running and it's like- No, but it probably recycles recycling. the water. Yeah, but what if you wash it and the water gets dirty? Don't ask questions. I'm sorry. I'm not rich enough to understand. <laughs> Your peanut brain cannot comprehend. I'm too poor to understand yeah. this house. All right, this is a $75 million mansion. So this mansion has a show wheel to show off your car. And it's got grass on it. Oh, I don't even know what just happened. This looks like one of those houses where you could press a button and they're like metal sheets just closed. Secret room, secret bathroom. Oh, that's cool. I'm allergic to all the open space. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. <laughs> he gets this way when he, you know, open air. Oh, a lot of air in this. I mean, that is just insane, man. What? Whole movie theater. That's insane. We need to react to more videos so we can buy that. Up next is an $80 million mansion. And fun fact, it's actually the guy who made Minecraft's house. Nosh? Yes. He's great at making games. Is he great at picking houses? Let's decide. Imagine making block game and getting an $80 million house. I forget how big Minecraft is until I look at his house. <laughs> like Minecraft is really the biggest game. And if you thought $80 million was crazy, we are in the big nine figures. There's probably literally only a handful of people in the world that can afford a house like this. Let's give it a watch. This is the Bezos, the Gates. Wait, this is Bezos' house? I was just naming rich people. I thought you were saying it was his house. It looks like he would live here. It looks a little too poor for Bezos. <laughs> they got a chef. Is the chef part of the $100 million? Is that a video of his house in his movie theater? We're watching a video about his house while the people in his movie theaters watch a video about his house. Wait, and they're watching us react, react to, to a them video watching of them the watching video. a video and of him. In a video yeah. of the yeah. house. Well, that's wild. Are we still on Earth? Look at that. Pool TV. Oh, Ooh. okay. Now it's really cool. That's a nice basketball court. Yes. All right. Now we're getting up there. I can understand why it's worth $100 million. And now we're expanding outside of America for a quarter of a billion dollar house. What? I can't even fathom that much money. This is just somebody's house. They got luxury taste. Whoever designed this. Dude, house. this just looks like royalty. This is beautiful. Big pool. I just can't even take in everything. It's so... And there's nothing around it either, except for like security buildings. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The $500 million house. Yeah, guess where it's from? Saga Ponek. <laughs> Saga Ponek? Did someone misspell that or is that what it is? Is that really what that is? 500 million, oh my gosh. That's like a whole country. Nice grass. I'm, re pool. I'm ready to see why it's worth 500 mil. Okay, I mean, it looks luxurious. It looks great, don't get me wrong. Yeah, a whole tennis, tennis court. court. That's nice. a very nice tennis court. Okay, starting to understand a little bit. The bedroom is very open. So it's a bedroom. To me, so far, I would say this is like a $40 million house. I don't know where the where the 500 mil comes in, man. Is that it? That's a $500 million. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think out of all the houses we looked at, the $20 million one with the water slides was the best. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 10 million subscribers. Goodbye. I got a list of the 25 most dangerous tourist attractions on earth. Why? Because you can find anything on the internet. Oh. And number 25 on the list is this glass bridge in China. And this bridge is cool because the floor is literally glass. No, it's cool because monkey. Oh, there is a giant monkey. It's definitely scary, but I don't know if it's dangerous. I can see why this is 25 on the list. I mean, this bridge, this place, whatever he's doing, this rock climbing are definitely more dangerous. Yeah. Number 24. Oh my gosh. Wait, is this just on the side of a mountain? That's scarier than the glass because like cables, I don't know why I feel like I fall through it. Oh my gosh. Just on the side of a mountain. They're literally higher than the clouds. This has got glass oh. too. It's got both. If that glass just broke, he go down. He would meet his grandparents. Ooh. Oh, no, no. I wouldn't do that no, one. That's terrifying. Not bad, not bad. Number 23. Is this a hotel room in the sky? He's hang gliding. He's bed gliding. Yo, I want to take this to school so that way I could sleep till the last minute and yeah. then I just get there and wake up. That would be genius. How does he land? Gracefully. Oh, wow. That looked way easier than it should have been. Oh, look. And now he's got all this extra time to just take a nap. The cool part is right after he landed, he wasn't like, yes, I didn't just die. He didn't break character. I thought the cool part was when he was in the sky. No, I agree with what I said. <laughs> Up next, that 22 is dinner in the sky. Oh, I've heard about this place. So basically everyone takes a seat at the table at this restaurant. They have like a server and everything. And they lift you like a hundred feet in the sky. Jimmy, I just have one question though. Why gamer chairs? Is this gamer lunch? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I would be terrified. Like what happens if your phone falls out of your pocket? <laughs> Just hits a guy walking by. You don't have a phone anymore. It's got LEDs too. Now it's worth it. And then they lower you back down and everybody claps. Good job. Maddie, if you're watching this, let's go there sometime. I mean, I'm watching this. We 
we could. I'd rather go with my girlfriend. That way. Colorado tornado. Oh my gosh. But why is he driving towards it? Or is it sucking him in? I think he's driving towards it. Then you're stupid. It's the Midwest. They have these all the time. What? They're just used to it. It reminds me of the movie Twister where it flings a cow through the air. Oh, the Twister reminds you of the movie Twister? Yeah. I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever seen a tornado. I don't ever want to. I'll stick to watching them on React. <laughs> I don't know how that was a tourist attraction, but... It's the Midwest. That's a tourist attraction. Who goes to the Midwest? No one. Tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> now we got a thousand foot swing in China. This doesn't look safe. Here's the thing though, though. She only has one rope holding her. Even if she fell, she'd just go whack. That's nuts. Man, a thousand feet in the air. I'd be terrified to get off. Oh my, no, this is a suite on the side of a mountain. That looks like a video game. This looks like Borderlands for the five of you that played that. I was going to say Death Stranding for the four of you that played that. <laughs> oh, you got to climb to it? You don't think that's worth the climb? I mean, it, here's the thing. If this isn't a chilly place, like this place is comfortable, perfect. But if it gets like 80 degrees on yeah. this mountain, you're done for. You're, you're roasting, roasting alive. It's not fun. All right, number 18, it's a whirlpool. Yo, they found the drain in the ocean. Look at that. It's like an underwater tornado. That's kind of cool. But wait, why is a whirlpool more dangerous than a house on the side of a mountain? I feel like mountain house be spinny water. Fun fact, because the guy, not in that clip, but later on, he went to go see his grandma when he tried to record it again. Number 17 is kayaking. And what possibly could be dangerous about whales? I see what's dangerous about kayaking. I hope wow. we get to see a really good slow-mo. Yeah. No. Maddie all the time asked me if I want to go kayaking. No. And babe, the answer is no. Actually, if you ask me again, I'm going to think you're trying to kill me. At number 16, we have a hiking location in Spain. Did you say Uncharted? Because that's what it looks like. I think the holes were already there. Oh, what? He's no. doing it in sandals. That dog is cooler than me. <laughs> that dog can climb a mountain unlike you. I wonder if that dog actually knows what's going on or if he's just like, it feels breezy up here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, I'll admit, there are some parts of this list I don't agree with. But I would say this is definitely more dangerous than Glass Bridge in China. How there are 15 more dangerous places than this, I don't know. I'll be the judge. Guess you gotta watch to find out. Frying Pan Tower. What? We were gonna go here. Yeah. This is a real tourist destination. We were actually gonna spend 50 hours here for a video, but then we realized I'm a baby and I get seasick and we didn't. You have to take a helicopter out there. It gets hit by hurricanes constantly. No, I didn't care about any of that. It's just, just the seasickness on a boat. Oh, so you are a baby. Yeah. Even check your email. Wow, you can check an email and notice how they didn't say use the internet. They literally yeah. only said check, check an email. email. But then you click on them and you get a spinning wheel of death yeah. because there's no Wi-Fi. Flab City. Oh, wait a minute. Right. We're reacting to a main channel video. Hey, that's me. Shut hey, up. that's me. Plus 20 pounds. <laughs> Basically, Slab City is the only city in all of America with no laws. And the reason why it has no laws is because it's literally in the middle of a desert. There's a bunch of nomads moved to the desert and they're just like, you want laws? And they're like, no. And so then they're just like, okay, no laws. 90% of the people there are very nice. Though. And then there was crazy knife guy. If you took 10 people out of Slab City, nine, nine and a half of them are perfectly nice. And then like one of them is just out of their mind crazy. We're now on number 13. Burger what? King foot lettuce. Is he jumping? In. Why? Wait, is he going down? No. Oh, he's just getting up to the edge. Okay. Still though, I don't know uh, if that's worth the risk why? though. Why would you do that? I don't agree with this. I wouldn't agree. I mean, at least she's having fun. Yeah. She might fall to her impending doom. Most exciting way to experience the falls. I don't think so. I think the most exciting way is to still be alive. Just look at pictures. Yeah, I think the most exciting way is from a comfortable distance far away, not at the edge of the waterfall. Oh my God. Whoa. That's actually cool. That is really cool. Is this just like an obstacle course in the sky? You know, when you're playing a video game and you're like, I feel like I can make that jump. This puts it to the test. I got something even better. Okay. That's like if Carl attempted this course. <laughs> Record with us and we'll be nicer. No chance I'm ever doing this. Oh, that's so scary feeling. Wow. Know what time it is? Half dome time. It's convenient that half dome is just over halfway through the video. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Black line optional. Uh, I don't think so. Why would you need that? What are you, a wuss? Yeah, what do you hate, living or something? Yeah! Woo! America! America! Rocks! We climb hill! Hey, that looks like a fun one. I would do that. It's still pretty dangerous. I wouldn't do this one, or this one, or this one. But Matt, if you want to go on a date, I would do this one. Oh, Red Bull again. Yellow Bull. Yellow Bull. Until they sponsor us. Until they sponsor us. Oh my god. Uh, no way he goes No way. That. What? How? How does that even work? How do you not break your neck? Where is he? Look, he's underwater. All right. I guess that shot at the end was like, hey, he survived. <laughs> yo. I just want to meet a shark. I, I feel like I could just level with them, you know? And just be like, yo, why are you so mad, bro? Yo, what? It's the back's open. Why is the back open? That was not a real sound effect. Play it again. Look at He knows. He's popping the buoys. Oh, wow. Well, I guess we'll just. I agree. That is a dangerous tourist destination. Number nine was an 18-foot shark attacking a man in a cage. Terrifying. Let's see what number eight is. Does it live up to the expectation? 
Uh, yep, it's living up to the expectations. Oh my God! Yo, Stop! They're so high up! I'm shaking. Stop. They're just letting children do this? He's not clipped off. For people who are scared of heights, this is a pretty ballsy thing to do. I think even if you're not as scared of heights, it's still pretty ballsy. I'm horrified of heights. I'm quaking and I'm not even there. I would agree. That belonged at number eight. Let's see what number seven is. Oh, running with the bull. Oh <laughs> no. These I would are never, always funny to watch. I would never do this. People get gouged and stuff. <laughs> he bumped into green shirt guys. I don't know. I think 18 foot shark belongs at number nine. I think yeah. the ledge thing belongs at number eight. I don't know if that belongs at number seven. I'm gonna agree with Maybe you. Maybe if I saw a bull flip someone, I'd change my opinion. Nope. Oh, here it is right there. Now I changed my opinion. Cave diving. This is yeah. definitely very dangerous. People go missing wow. all the time because of caves. Look, air pockets. That's so cool. Yeah, imagine you have like a scuba gear failure or something. That's insane. But this music is making this very epic. Oh, yeah. You know what this is from? Call of Duty? Subnautica. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Who's the first one to explore these caves? They're like map them out. That person follows it. Yeah, that's the real guy. Climbing a mountain's pretty dangerous. Yeah. Uh, he, he jumped. jumped. It's flying squirrel man. <laughs> that's so cool. He's cooler than us. I'll admit when I'm not the Coolest person in the room. It's right now. No, I am the coolest person in the room. Oh. But if you factor in this guy, then I'm not. But he's Wait, not in the room. But I'm in the room. So, anyways, that was number five. Oh, this is the thing where you get on top. This is wild. And then he does like 360s while you're strapped what? on top of the plane. That's crazy. And you just get to stand up there and experience it. Would you do that? Yeah, probably. The plane's literally 10,000 feet in the air. You have to get out of your seat and you oh. have to walk on. You don't start up there. You have to walk on top of the plane and Man. strap in. Wait, would I also have to jump off the plane? No, that's optional. Who the heck is getting that shot? Who is filming this the guy filming it is also just as impressive <laughs> we're in the top three boys this is it we wait it's an italian mountain summit yeah okay so far pretty dangerous living up to the expectations let's see what happens oh is it just this pathway see how steep the drop is yeah that, that's dangerous all the other ones that were high up they were clipped in these people are just climbing up a mountain or except for the guy them. literally right in front of us is clipped in he's clipped to another person you're clipped to your mom i was at one point <laughs> we all were volcano boarding what does that mean? anything volcano deserves number two on the list yo i used to Love this song like 10 years ago, and who cares? This is epic. What, what am I watching? What is going on here? Whoa! What is going on? They're wiping out. So they're just riding ash? They're riding down the ash. This is like snowboarding but for a volcano. That oh, oh that doesn't look good. That one hurt. I'd love to do this on a volcano that's like 10% less steeper. Yeah. Perfect. They were getting some speed. All right, that was a good number two. That belonged at number two. I believe in that. And now the time you've been waiting for the number one most dangerous tourist attraction on this planet ever according to this list hold up hold up hold up okay this is alex from uh -huh. free solo this isn't a tourist attraction people don't just go climb up this mountain he, he's like the only person who's ever done this oh, okay i literally watched this entire like documentary he did uh -huh. it, it's wild he literally scaled this entire mountain right here with no gear or nothing just his hands he's literally a monster do you like cake i do like cake well i don't care subscribe these are the most expensive foods in the world. We're going to be reacting to hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of food instead of eating them this time. It's very expensive. Let's start off with a $1 hot dog. You know, you're walking down the streets of New York, you see a hot dog stand, you buy it. It's a dollar. Everybody's at it. The Travis Scott meal, $6. Yes. Conveniently ate by one of the fastest eaters in the world. Now, this is a $9 meal from the fanciest McDonald's in the world. I love that. Please, can every McDonald's just become fancy McDonald's? This is a $25 golden cupcake. Does it taste better than a $6 cupcake from Walmart? Probably not. This is a $30 sandwich. I've had more expensive sandwich than $30, but it was bigger. This is a YouTuber named What's Inside. He visited a robot restaurant. I bet it's in Japan. Yeah, it's in Japan. That's pretty cool, though. Why have we not gone to Japan yet? Yeah, we need to go to Japan right now. We didn't even see the meal. <laughs> there was no food. This is a hundred. All right, I can see why this is $100. He cooks the food in front of you. It kind of looks just like normal hibachi. That's by far the coolest fried rice I've ever seen. People went to space, not even cool. This rice, the dopest thing I've ever seen. Five dollar right. golden donut? Ew, gross, it looks like a turd. How does it not look like soft serve poo poo? Just because something's circular doesn't mean it's a donut. A donut is a shape. Right. Is a donut a shape or a food? Comment down below. Comment one if you think it's a shape, two if you think it's a food. Hundred dollars per donut, I want it. Someone give me it. I forgot it's just me and Chris. Yeah. Ooh, 169. Funny number. I assume that's not mayonnaise. If it's cheese, you got me. I'm in. If okay. it's mayonnaise, I'm so far away. I think I'm in a different country. Mayonnaise is gross. Would you eat this? No. $214 grilled cheese. Did we eat this grilled cheese? Yeah, we did. We ate gold-plated grilled cheese. Well, the great part was the dipping sauce. Yeah, that's it. That stuff was good. It's really not a... Oh, oh there they are. It's like it was reading my mind. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Oh. 
No. Dude, I taste so good. Guys, I need help. I really, really, really want to hit 10 million subscribers on this channel. Guys, he wants it. Come on. Genuinely, if you hit that subscribe button, it would make me the happiest person in the world. You don't want him happy? What a jerk. And now let's react to an underwater restaurant. What you want? Oh, wow. Yo, it'd be funny if they only there. serve fish. Oh, they are. That's, uh, funny. <laughs> That's funny. Good. Good for them. Sense of humor. What is that? That doesn't look yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, uh, crab. Uh, all right. It lost all coolness to me. Wait, that was an ender flower? Minecraft is real. Jimmy, can we go oh, here? Shit. Chris, this is in Norway. Well, they ain't Norway. We're going there. <laughs> all right. We have a $50 crab. <laughs> this crab's just dripped out. He's got a chain on him. Oh, my gosh. That sauce looks good. Which is better, crab or lobster? Crab. He's so big. That's what she said. That's why it's $350, because that boy been growing. $500 fried chicken. Oh, by the way, yesterday, I was in Kentucky. Well, the first thing we did when we landed in Kentucky yesterday mm -hmm. was we ate Kentucky fried chicken. I just wanted to let you guys know. I thought it was funny. How did they make that chicken look gross? Oh, never mind. I mean, that's just a really well-prepared chicken, and it's got some nice ingredients. This, I think that's worth $500. Coming from a rich guy. Crap. I'm just so wealthy. I take bathtubs and actual literal Bitcoin. <laughs> this is a $600 lobster. Things are getting real. Notice how the Crab was 350 and the lobster's 600 because lobster's better. Double the flavor, double the price. Almost looks like one of those meals that you microwave. It does. $750 barbecue. I bet it's not from Texas because that's where the barbecue's bad. Ooh, that's a lot of meat. Mm. I mean, it looks good. I don't know if it's necessary to have that much though. $750, yeah. That's a lot. No of way, meat. this this has to be like Texas. It said the Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, it's Texas. Yeah, it is in Texas. Literally, the second I saw a guy just carrying a giant pan of meat. I was like, Texas. Cops are going to use that information. They're going to like scan the background. There was a big plate of meat. We know he's somewhere in Texas. Yes, that's where the robbers go now. All right, this is $800 ice cream. Oh, that's all the gold they're putting on it? Oh, wow. That's it? Rookie numbers. This is a $1,000 steak. I'm pretty sure we had this steak. We did have this steak, the salt-based steak. Oh, he let DJ Khaled cut it? He's using a machete to cut it. Oh, he's got... Oh. oh. He didn't even hit it. He did not hit it. <laughs> He didn't hit it again. Uh, Both times he didn't hit it. The earth could have rotated. Though. That's probably it. The earth was rotating too quick. He didn't factor that in. Plus the wind was... Thousand dollar ham. I remember because behind the scenes, it came in this and I said, do we have a gun? And somebody said, no, this is ham. <laughs> that looks like bacon. It's just thinly sliced ham. So yeah, technically that is bacon if you make it. I I just didn't know ham was bacon and bacon was ham. <laughs> Did you actually not? No. $1,500 lobster. How's lobster keep getting expensive? Jimmy, what would you buy with $1,500? Uh, Wrong answer, lobster. <laughs> it's a thousand dollar lobster. Wait, it's at fifteen hundred. But that's at a thousand. What is going on? God, lobster's a thousand. The breed is five hundred. What's breed? Everyone, because this is America. <laughs> Two thousand dollar pizza, black dough. That's a big trend right now is to eat black food. All you see in this pizza is edible. Everything's edible. When you have to tell us it's edible, it's probably not the best. To yeah. Eat. When's the last time Domino's knocked on your door? You open the door and they're like, Hey, sir, just so you know, everything on this. It's edible. Like, you would throw it away. You open it, there's a band aid. You're like, are you sure? This is insane. <laughs> he said, This is insane. The subtitle, it's dreaming. <laughs> he did play it back. That was a $2,000 pizza, and this is a $2,000 burger. What's the difference? Let's find out. Okay. What uh, is that lump? I thought that was the butt at the top, but not. Fun fact about that $2,000 burger, uh -huh. right? We served that exact same burger at Beef Burger, but it's not $2,000. <laughs> so we take the $2,000 burger, yeah. but then I cover the entire cost, and it's a normal burger. Yeah. Available nationwide, go order. I'm lying, but I want them to buy Beef Burger. Okay. Okay. $5,000 burger! It's dripping. Is there a waterfall on that burger? No, that's just the sauce. How do you grab it? Oh, wait, that wasn't the bun? What is with these burgers and having deceptive Ooh, buns? Right. Don't understand why this camera shot's so zoomed in. The guy was like, we don't need to see anything else but that meat. $10,000 charge. Cheese board. $10,000 that. This table has easily three to four thousand dollars worth of cheese on it right here. Three to four thousand dollars worth of cheese and then a melon. I'm just distraught that there's three thousand dollar cheese. Everyone who buys super expensive food is a piece of garbage. Except for us. Good thing I didn't buy it. I just ate it. Woo! A seventeen thousand dollar Japanese melon. And we ain't talking about these melons. Wait, what melons would we have been talking about? Watermelons. Yeah, yeah. These are different kind of melons. Yeah. Seventeen thousand dollar melon. For a melon. So it's like, I can buy you this car right here? Yeah, yeah, I'd like that. It's a nice car. Probably last you a good solid 10 years. I need a car. Yeah. Or I could buy you a melon. Give me the melon! $25,000 taco? What? I've only ever had a $6,000 taco. <laughs> You're broke. It was horrible. It wasn't good. We're legit paying five grand for some tacos. Go for it. How is it? 
Mm, this is pretty good. That wasn't that great. What makes this taco so luxurious? Well, I'm glad you asked, Tex. Kobe beef. Kobe beef. Lobster. lobster. Okay. That looks like a shrimp, not a lobster. Black truffle. Caviar. I feel like everything Beluga expensive cat. It's basically those four things. The guy was just like, expensive food. Top four results and put it in taco. $34,000 caviar? Why is caviar so much? It's not worth it. It's not it doesn't good. taste good. Yeah, look at all just sitting there holding together. It's just fish eggs. It's, if I had to choose between eating baked beans or $20,000 caviar. Easy choice. I would eat the $5 baked beans. $50,000 Thanksgiving feast. No, nah, I'll take grandma's $30 feed the whole family feast. The stuffing is made with a $47 loaf of bread. $47? This is a $50,000 meal, and this loaf of bread was 0.001% of it. $70,000 wedding cake. They're using a sword to cut it. Oh, wow. Maybe it would have been easier if there was only some other kind of utensil you could use to cut a cake. Besides a sword? Yeah. Someone well, should invent that. Yeah, they should. Oh, it's probably called a katana. You're, you're right. <laughs> Jimmy just starts having flashbacks. Someone turned these chains into this katana. $100,000 pizza. You know why it's $100,000? The ingredients. They cost Wait, them $100,000. That, that cost them $100,000. Remember to hit that subscribe button because I really want 10 million subscribers and it would make me so happy. Come on, he wants it. Go 